Well, ladies and gentlemen, it seems like the bad news just can't stop for Marvel and Disney because, of course, just like what happened with Snow White, just like what happened with a ton of TV shows that they promised was going to come out and they haven't come out with it yet, and it's been delayed like Ironheart over and over and over again, now you have their slate apparently being completely shifted yet again because of massive delays. So Marvel just recently shifted their upcoming film slate yet again, it says, from Bounding into Comics, and it says Deadpool 3... Captain America Brave New World, Blade, and Thunderbolts are all delayed. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, Deadpool 3, Captain America, Blade, and Thunderbolts, every single one of them, plus I'm sure other movies and TV shows are going to be delayed all the way until 2025, if not later. It is absolutely insane that... Number one, I still can't believe that Captain America, you know, black Captain America is getting his own film. I really just don't feel like there was that much interest in that TV show to warrant an entire film all about him when he's clearly not a very light character. Deadpool 3, one movie that I think would have made a ton of money for them, is uh, apparently going to be delayed. So that money is going to have to wait, which really sucks for them. And Blade, we all know what's happening with Blade. That movie is in development hell, the likes of which we haven't seen since, since Final Fantasy 15. if you want a video game equivalent of development hell and Thunderbolts is still a recently new name so the fact that it's delayed not really that big of a deal so let's get into the article guys from bounding into comics but of course before we do if you are new here just consider hitting that subscribe button I would greatly appreciate it and like the video to push us out into the YouTube algorithm it says in yet another blow to the franchise's already shaky future Disney has announced that they will once again be undertaking a delay of their upcoming Marvel releases this time pushing their entire in-production lineup of Deadpool 3 Captain America Brave New World Blade and Thunderbolts bolts back from their originally slated premiere dates according to disney's updated schedule where once he had in hugh jackman's version of wolverine were set to make their mcu debut on may 3rd 2024 their multiversal adventure will now hit the big screen roughly two or three months later on july 26th of 2024 notably prior to this latest shakeup, the highly coveted summer release date was reserved for captain america brave new world however thanks to this scheduling update the all new all different captain america will now make his play for audience his heart on february 14th of 2025 oh my goodness well first off uh bounding into comics shout out to that was pretty damn funny all new all different i gotta appreciate the pun there and uh the fact that you're not gonna see a captain america film until 2025 for a character that people just don't care about you're gonna you're gonna make them wait two more years for a character they don't care about man like they're not they're not gonna be interested in this nobody's gonna want to see this movie more now than two years from now like it just doesn't matter like i I don't know why they would delay this movie. If you're going to come out with it, just come out with it. People already don't like the character, so you might as well just get it over with. Lose your money now, you know? It says, to this end, rather than drop two of their tentpole films on the same day, Marvel had also delayed their previously scheduled Valentine's Day release of Blade. That movie's not even made yet. That that movie is literally, they, they don't even have a script yet. Like, I don't, I don't want to hear about release dates for Blade when you don't even have a script. Like, nothing is set in stone with that movie. It's been delayed so many times. It's been reworked so many times it is pathetic what is going on with blade it says likewise with his former spot now occupying a dangerously close date to captain america brave new world the day walker's reintroduction to the silver screen has been pushed back to november 7th of 2025 an admittedly bizarre move as this date misses the thematically appropriate halloween season by just one week yeah why would you not release blade during halloween month like that just seems odd to me like that would be top tier uh time to release this movie but again they, they don't seem to be thinking with the right with the right ideas when it comes to blade i guess they just they, they're just messing up all over the place finally though directly unrelated to the results of the above described triple movie switcheroo the general schedule delay caused by these scheduling moves has led marvel to push their thunderbolts redemption story by six months from their original december 20th 2024 sortie date to july 25th of 2025 interestingly the house of mouse's reschedule also saw them outright remove two unannounced films from their lineup actions ostensibly taken in order to free up thunderbolts and blades new respect release dates wow so not only do we have delays but they have completely and utterly canceled two movies right off the bat Furthermore, Marvel was not the only Disney arm to announce such delays as its core film production studio also announced that their Lion King sequel slash prequel Mufasa will no longer premiere on July 5th, 2024, but rather December 20th of 2024. And while not a Disney movie nor Marvel production proper, Sony's third entry into their Venom franchise has also been pushed back from July 14th, 2024 to November 8th of that same exact year. 
As of writing, neither Disney nor Marvel have provided any outright statement regarding the exact reasoning behind these delays. Well, we all know the reason, all right? Obviously, the strike had a big thing to do with the reason for these movies being delayed, but I'll just be real with you. I really think that Blade is not the only movie that's in development hell for Marvel and Disney right now. I guarantee you there is a lot of movies that they're trying to come out with, and they put a lot on their plate. They're trying to come out with a lot of these movies, and they just can't put it together for some reason. I don't know if it's because of writing different differences. I don't know if it's because of ideological differences. I really don't know what's happening. All I know is that Blade has revealed to a lot of people that Disney and Marvel just don't have their crap together. They don't have it. They don't have it together. They are struggling to get their minds together and put something together with Blade. So you got to imagine that something's happening with these other movies as well. But yes, the strikes are absolutely a big deal when it comes to these delays, especially since the actor strike is still going on right now. To my knowledge, the writer strike ends one week begins another week. I don't really know what's going on there, but everybody is just in a massive mess right now. So of course, these delays really shouldn't be so shocking. The only thing is it really is going to hurt them drastically. They lost so much money already as it is, and now, now they're going to lose an immense amount more money because they're going to have barely any content coming out over the next year up until the second year when they finally release a lot of their big hitters. So they're not really going to have a lot to play with in the next year. But again, they're hoping that they're going to make at least some money off of it now i do think that deadpool 3 is going to make a massive amount of money i do i think the name and the nostalgia of uh, hugh jackman is going to carry that movie i think that if it's even a slightly good movie that word of mouth is going to carry that movie over the finish line but of course the beginning thing is going to be deadpool and hugh jackman as comic accurate wolverine in his suit and everything that alone is going to get people in the seats and then if it's a decent movie it will carry over it says however uh, as noted by multiple trade news outlets including deadline and variety this superhero shuffling is likely the result of the studios being realistic about how much work is left to be done on their individual projects following the conclusion of the SAG after strike. And that's basically what I was saying. Obviously, the strikes have to play a big deal into this, uh, but let's not pretend like it is the only thing. I really do think that these movies don't have a lot of direction. I really don't think that they know what they're doing. I think for some reason, there is something going on at Marvel and Disney that is changing up the game, and I'm really not sure what that is. I don't think it's identity politics because they still are playing those identity politics so i think that that is still an ongoing thing but i think what they're trying to figure out is how can they play that game while also trying to make some money because they can only burn money for so long even if even, even though they have a ton of cash flow coming from disney plus as we recently just discovered they have over three billion dollars in cash flow from disney plus they can't lose money like this forever they cannot lose hundreds of millions of dollars forever on every movie it's crazy you're gonna have to lower the budgets and they just recently announced that they're slashing another two billion dollars in total cost from five billion to seven billion so they're definitely realizing that they have to lower their budgets they have to lower their costs but whether or not that's going to actually help them in the long run i guess time is going to tell so anyway guys thank you so much for watching this video i hope you did enjoy it and if you did consider leaving me a subscribe i would greatly appreciate it don't forget to like the video comment let me know what you thought and i'll see you guys on the next one hypnotic out